So it's Wednesday. That means we are 26 weeks and two days, which is pretty cool because um, I had four different doctors tell me that we wouldn't make it to 26 weeks. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I guess Monday wasn't really a magical day by any means because, I mean, I guess they could have kept her alive if she was born before. Um, but, I don't know. They said this was our, our best shot. If I made it this far, then I had a really good chance of getting her healthy. So we'll see how our ultrasound goes next week. I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, basically, everything has been the same. Christmas, I already talked about that, was great and crazy. Uh, New Year's, I did nothing. Um, life on bed rest means that I really have nothing exciting to talk about. Um, yeah. I don't get to do anything fun. I even, I think I've said this before, but I also have to take baths instead of showers because I'm not supposed to be standing for that long. Um, and taking a bath when you're a big person is supposed to be like calm and relaxing and now it's a chore. Uh, nobody ever sees me when I get ready. So I would, you know, just as soon sit here and not bathe forever. Okay, that's a lie. Um, I don't want Bob to think I'm disgusting because I'm already a nightmare to live with, so I don't want to be like a dirty, stinky hobo either. And I have this body hair thing where, no, there can be no hair, so I'm not going to sit around in here and get prickly. That's disgusting. Um, and taking a bath, though, has turned into, I don't know, it's kind of, I, honestly, I think it's gross. I would rather take a shower because I don't like to sit in dirty water. And I also use, um, like, semi-permanent hair color instead of the permanent stuff because I'm trying to get rid of the black eventually. And when you rinse it out of your hair, it makes the water turn brown. It's really disgusting. <laughs> so it makes you feel even dirtier than you already are, even though I bathe every day. Yeah. Um... Me taking a bath instead of a shower has also led to Carter's discovery that I have boobs. That's a little bit uncomfortable. He barged in on me. I think it was yesterday. He barged in on me and um, I couldn't get him to go in the other room and play with Jake, which is where he was. And um, he just like kept staring at me. So it was very, very awkward. And then I got out and after I got dressed, he walks up and he like tries to squish him and it's... We're going to have to make him quit that because that's highly inappropriate. Um, that has reminded me, though, I have like two and a half months, probably, because Jake and Carter were early, so I'd say she probably still has a good chance of that, too. So I have about two and a half months before my boobs aren't mine anymore, and I'm not excited about this. Um... There are people I know who say that breastfeeding is like this beautiful experience and they just love to bond with their child. They're full of crap. Breastfeeding sucks. I mean, you do it because it's the right thing to do and because it's better for your kid because formula is disgusting. But um, honestly, it's horrible. I mean, you, I mean you, you shower every single day hoping to get rid of that like you, all, I don't know. You always feel like you smell like rotten milk, and it hurts to take a shower because you don't want anything to touch because it it just freaking hurts. And I don't know. There's just something about feeling like a cow that doesn't really sit well with me. It's gross, and it sucks, and it's very time consuming. But again, you do it anyway. I'm just not ready to give them up again. Um. So I'm sitting here right now and I miss the boys because my mother-in-law came to pick them up today. She, again, I'm sure everybody knows this, but she keeps them a couple nights a week so I can sit around here and do nothing like I'm supposed to. Um, the woman infuriates me. She came in earlier and she refused to leave until after she had gone to get me something to eat and then she had to sit there and watch me eat it, so... I don't know, it's frustrating. Half the time, I want to punch her in the freaking face, but she does a lot to help us, so it might not be nice if I punched her. Maybe. It's a really good idea, though. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess I've been, I don't know, I've been getting, like, really, really, really obsessed with things because I'm stuck in the house all the time. So my life revolves around things that happen in these walls, and so, I don't know, it's 
kind of depressing. Um, I the the way I get attached and obsessive about things makes me think that I'm like a really good drug addict. So I guess I shouldn't be shooting up heroin or trying it anytime in the future because chances are I won't stop. Um, I've been reading a lot. Um, I read the the Greatest Show on Earth by Richard Dawkins. It's the Evidence for Evolution, and it was really really good. I suggest it to anybody. It's like great. It, it, it is like the scientific evidence, but it also gives you great comebacks for people who honestly think that Noah really had an ark. So, I believe in God, but I believe the Bible is symbolic, not literal. Um, so, um, I have like ten more pages of Catcher in the Rye. I need to go finish that. And then I think, oh, I reread The Inferno day before yesterday for like the billionth time. And I think I'm just going to read the Sookie Stackhouse series again. Because I need some vampires in my life. Um, I also started a jigsaw puzzle, which is really weird, because I'm not an 80-year-old woman. Um, I've been eating prunes, too, though. I'm 24. <laughs> That's a lie. I'm 25. I forgot I had a birthday. Um, so yeah, I'm 25, and I eat prunes. What is wrong with me? Um, I've been obsessively cleaning the house. It's really ridiculous. I almost had a panic attack the other day because I realized that there were clothes in the dryer that I hadn't folded yet. There was literally nothing else in the house that needed to be washed. I mean, I'd gone through and washed everybody's sheets even though they were all clean and, like, the bathroom rugs and stuff like that. And I couldn't go to bed until that stuff was folded and put away. Um, it's getting really bad. So again, like I said, I couldn't be a drug addict because I wouldn't be able to stop. Um, Bob's been really good about this. I hope he doesn't watch these because I just said I wanted to punch his mom in the face. So yeah, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your mom irritates me, but I do love her, I promise. Um, he's been really good about this because, again, I'm a nightmare to live with. Seriously, I am Satan, and I feel so bad for him. And as much as I rag on him and, you know, pick on him and stuff for not doing things, like hanging that towel bar that Jake ripped out of the wall months ago, um, he really is dealing with this very well, and I'm impressed. And he works very hard and comes home and helps take care of the boys, so... Um, if anyone's giving out awesome husband awards, someone give one to him. Just don't say that I nominated him, because then he might expect me to be nice all the time. We can't have that. <laughs> so, anyway, I guess that's all that I have to talk about today. Which is pretty much boobs and prunes. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try to do better next time. Um, so yeah, our next ultrasound is Tuesday morning, so I will put something back up after that. I hope everybody's doing awesome.